so this is the workspace and mine is different from yours surely okay so let's say you work after this you work one or two things in uh, adobe illustrator let's say it gets messy just like what i have here because right now i don't like this workspace so i just want to go back to the default workspace you simply go to window all right and workspace so workspace you can reset essential classic because right now the workspace that i have is essential classic so i can reset the essentials all right so it is back to normal back to default so this i'm, I'm sure we all have the same thing okay so let's look at the workspace so the white guy you see over here is the artboard okay and the space around it is the canvas okay so on the left side we got the two bar okay or the tools bar <laughs> and there are so many panels in here we got the properties panel we got you know color swatch we got the swatches over here we got brushes panel we got so many panels okay we will look at them as we progress so don't worry about that and up here is the menu bar so we have file edit object select effect we will be going through them as we progress and this guy is the control uh, bar this is the control bar okay and it displays uh properties or allows you to make changes to whatever to or whatever object that is selected okay on the artboard or the canvas all right so if you select a rectangle the control panel will show up so that you can you know make changes to that so uh hiding tabs okay you can show and hide tabs let's start with the tab key on the keyboard so if you hit the tab key you know you hide the tools bar and then the tabs on the right side okay so if you press the tab back again you got uh panels over here and then our tools bar showing up okay that is only the tab all right now if you want to hide these panels you use shift and tab you can hide the panels over here and shift and tab again will bring them back now suppose you accidentally hit a key on the keyboard but you don't know what key you you hit but everything maybe your tax bar disappears like this that means you hit f key on the keyboard so if you hit f you know if it is like this and you hit the f key on the keyboard you know it will the tax bar will disappear together with the uh, document tab so this is the document tab okay it's right now i have on title one i haven't renamed the document so this is on title uh, on title one there's the document tab so if you hit f it disappears and the tax bar also follows along so if you encounter this situation just hit f again so if you want a clean view of your artboard this is what you have you can select tools with shortcuts okay but if you want your workspace back hit f again and you have this now before we come to adjusting tabs let's look at workspace okay so if we go to window and workspace we can choose different workspace okay where we have layouts over here if we click layout it will change and adjust to layout um, it will give you the tools you need in layout designing okay if you want to do some layout if you go to window and workspace back again if you choose painting if you want to make some hardcore paintings you can do this printing and proofing it gives you all the panels over here okay that will assist you or make your work faster and i know you know you will get along with that but i know when it comes to switching workspaces you know for us for us beginners we wouldn't want to change any workspace all right so we can but going to window and workspace and changing it okay to essential or essentials classic you can simply come over here click the switch and you can choose between essentials or essentials classic good comes back now uh let's say you want to create your own workspace you can go to window workspace 
and then new workspace okay so i can say uh cook space all right so with cook space i can click ok and whatever how are any arrangement that i want i can do it here all right any arrangement that i want i can do it here so if you want to delete workspace to you can go to workspace window workspace and manage workspaces and this is cook space if you want to delete you can delete if you want to add a new workspace to you can click this and you will just add another workspace all right that is cool so let's say we have two documents all right let's create another document let's go to file new and let's create another document so this is the document tab up here this is the first document let's say i have something on it okay don't draw anything on it please let's say i have this black guy on this document over here i don't have anything so if switching between uh, documents you have to click here click here okay there is an option that oh you can stack or just stack them horizontally or vertically and that is this guy uh, over here the first guy i mean the second guy this the search okay so this arrange documents if you click this you have consolidate or if you click on consolidate or nothing happens because they are separate okay if we check this guy this is two up so one will be here and one will be there okay so this is how it looks if you click here you can toggle over here whatever that you whatever shape you can create it here okay but but when you click here you are creating things over here so you can work one will be here and one will be there all right and um that's it okay so you can stack them like this too i'm not sure you want to do this because <laughs> i've never I, I normally use the vertical okay the two up just like this all right so if you have multiple documents that you are working on you can stack up more okay that is that anyways let me just delete or delete this i don't want it okay all right so let's work on this one as a graphic designer you've come across motion flyers if not this is what i mean So what you are seeing right here were static flyers brought to life in adobe after effects and i'm sure you want to know more about this hi there i'm emmanuel and welcome to the ultimate flyer animation crash course with cook graphics from 2d to 3d flyer animation in adobe after effects which include five solid topics and this is what we will learn in this course we will first of all start with the basics of After Effects, covering each and every single tool in After Effects and master the transform options which are the backbone of motion flyers in After Effects. And the best part of this is we will learn how to create flyers from scratch in Adobe After Effects. Yes, not Photoshop, Adobe After Effects from scratch, which will help you get solid understanding of the tools in Adobe After Effects. And from there, we will learn how to import and animate Photoshop flyers, including the ones we create from scratch in After Effects. Then we move on to 3D animations. We will start with the basics of the camera tool, camera options, the null object, and any other tool that makes 3D animations possible in Adobe After Effects. And finally, move on to polish our skills with top-notch 2D and 3D projects. So take a look at a couple of projects that we will polish our hands with. this and many more that we will cover in this crash course all videos are available on google drive to download and practice at your own pace and a big discount for the first 100 people especially those who have subscribed to cool graphics channel on youtube motion flyers is not a trend that's a whole new skill on its own so grab those course and upgrade your skills as well as your portfolio today so uh starting with collapsing and expanding panel groups okay so this arrow over here two arrows okay 
you expand panels so if you click this you've expanded a panel and contain panel group okay and it has multiple panels we have transparency stroke we got layers panel down here we got assets export so many adverts over here and you can collapse the panel groups okay so you got another group over here so this is one group and this is another group all right so that is expanding and collapsing all right now let's come to rearranging or docking and undocking so let's say this group right here they are just two panels on this group all right so this is the properties and then this is the libraries so let's say i op expand this you got the libraries normally i don't do anything with the libraries so i can undock it simply means taking it out of the group Sim uh, by clicking the libraries and dragging it out okay now i will drag it out here and then delete it or close that panel it is out now i have only the properties okay so i can just collapse the properties panel and then expand it like that we can undock so many uh, uh panels if you want so for instance this asset and the ex asset exports i can click drag it out so when you drag it out it becomes a floating panel okay so that's it i can delete it now let's say working in adobe illustrator when it comes to properties working with the properties and color or let's say layers panel you can just float them here dock them and make them float by starting with you can start with uh color or let's say brushes no let's start with swatches so we can undock the swatches and place it here and add the properties okay undock the properties and when you take the last panel from the group it, it disappears okay so you can drag it out and stack it below this guy okay so if you collapse it they are one group when you open it like this you got this all right so i can add up another one the layers we got the layers panel over here i can undock it and stack it up over here okay and dock it up okay so these guys become one group okay one panel group and we have another one here so you can float this around okay uh you can float this one around or you can just dock it in no let's dock it inside okay and when you expand when you drag the top guy over here this bar the space tiny space over here when you click you can just move them around or you can simply drop zone them here so you can see these blue uh, drop zones over here it means stack them beside this group okay or you can place them down here so when you stack them here they become another group okay vertical group so we got the layers and the swatches in here good and when we expand this guy we can bring this swatches here can add it to the artboards you know panel and we can just stack them over here like that so you can move them around okay you can just move them around but if you want to go the descent way you can reset your artboard or workspace okay now i can switch between workspaces as we've talked about so you can go to workspace and right now i'm working in work cook space too i can go back to essential classic all right so i'm back again all right so now i will talk more about saving a document but we are going to use the document throughout the series so maybe so let's go let's save this one so let's go to file and save us okay so choose your location and right now we are focusing on ai okay there are more options that we can save as vision all of that will come to those things when the course gets interesting okay so save i'm not saving i have it all right so that is it